to working with you. It's imperative we get this in order. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pascal. You're recognized. Mr. Secretary, welcome. The tax bill that was pushed through costs more than a trillion five hundred billion dollars, and then we add the interest, and it goes on forever. Money that we borrowed from the future. Eighty percent of the money we spent went to the top one percent. Some would say a little more than that. Wells Fargo alone got a handout of $3.4 billion from the U.S. Treasury. You are the Secretary of the Treasury. After they cheated millions of customers, opened fake, fake accounts, overcharged veterans, they got this reward. But following this tax cut, they were paying their shareholders $22.5 billion, their shareholders. That's 102 times the amount they're putting into charity and wage increases combined. At the same time, Mr. Secretary, they're closing 900 branches. So here's my first question, Mr. Secretary, because I heard you insult a lot of big states many times. Let's get it straight here, right from the horse's mouth. You stated repeatedly last year that we needed to eliminate the state and local tax deduction because we had to get out of the business of subsidizing states. Who wrote that talking point for you? Because you seem to repeat it over and over again like a broken record. And I told you last year, and I'll say it again, New Jersey subsidizes low states, that's baloney. With my state getting back at 74, 74 cents on the dollar, it contributes to federal revenue. Now with the Trump tax cuts, we'll be contributing even more. How dare you insult those states? And you also said in your statement that what they need to do is cut their taxes. Well, we all try to cut taxes, but you know that bill went back to the Civil War long before the tax code even came into an existence to make sure that the local communities, the county communities, the state communities had enough money and resources to get by year after year. That is a insult, an insult. This week, the director of the National Intelligence, the CIA, the FBI, and other leading intelligence officials warned that Russia uh, might be meddling. They did meddle in the 2016 election. Um, and we'll use a digital strategy to worsen it this year. I understand the administration is working on implementing sanctions required by the bipartisan countering uh, America's adversaries, um, adversaries through S Sanctions Act. The bill that guarded more than 400 votes. How many sanctions did the president direct you to impose? Thank you. All time has expired if you would answer Can that. Can I get an answer? Question in writing. Members know that if you want uh, yes the secretary no. to answer, Give him time, leave him time to do so. Mr. Mr. Chairman. So, Mr. Kelly, come on. To recognize the questions. 